Hello and welcome to this week's edition of CTN Community Update. Preparations are underway for the upcoming 2020 Census, which is critical in determining our representation in Congress and the amount of federal funding our state and local governments received. On Monday evening, the local chapter of the League of Women Voters hosted a public forum to educate residents on the census. League President Gretchen Sable moderated the event, which included a former state legislator and a civil rights attorney. Andrew Verdon from the State Demographer's Office laid out the scope of the 2020 Census and why it's important for everyone to participate. You know, one can make an argument that uh, the Census is in fact even more important than voting. Uh, and, and, and the reason being is while voting is limited to those who are 18, you have to be a voter, you have to be eligible to vote, you have to be a citizen in order to do it, that the census, that what makes the census different is that the census is literally for everyone. The forum included a panel discussion and they even took questions from the audience. If you missed it, you can watch the League of Women Voters hour-long forum in the coming weeks right here on CTN. On the 18th anniversary of the September 11th attacks, communities across the country paused this week to mourn the nearly 3,000 people killed that day. Here in Coon Rapids, the American flag flew high above the Main Street Bridge for the 11th year. CTN's Dan Carpenter tells us more about the origins of the tradition. On September 11th, terrorists launched an attack on American soil. I was a sophomore in high school. Those who watched the attack unfold on live television can never forget it. And it was like the scariest moment ever because it was like real. But as anniversary after anniversary pass, Dan Hansen felt something was missing. I felt at that time that people were already starting to forget what happened to us. Now when you drive on Highway 10, under the Coon Rapids Main Street Bridge on the anniversary of that terrible day. You see that many people haven't forgotten. I mean, we have people blowing their horns coming over the bridge. And uh, the, the, what I envisioned in 2007 when it started, it was this bridge lined up on both sides with patriotic Americans. 343 represents the, uh, the number of firefighters that were lost. The next year, local fire departments began a new tradition. It actually works out really well. It spans the bridge perfectly. A 15-foot American flag is raised between two aerial fire trucks at sunrise and lowered at sunset. Over 3,000 people died that day, um, and police and fire fighters are still dying from the effects of that with cancer and all that. This commemoration serves as a reminder to those like four-year-old Isaiah. We tell them about it. Uh, we show them pictures of the building. Um, it's crazy because the landscape he knows has the Statue of Liberty and that's about it. Marking a dark day in America's history with a proud tradition that also serves as a reminder for generations to come. And I never want people to forget what happened to us. Dan Carpenter for CTN Update. Dan Hansen says he's planning a large 9-11 commemoration ceremony in two years to mark the 20th anniversary of the terrorist attacks. An open house will take place next week for residents to learn more about several planned transportation projects along the Highway 10 corridor in Anoka. The event is Wednesday, September 18th from 4 to 7 p.m. at Greenhaven Golf Course. Upcoming projects include the replacement of the Highway 10 Rum River Bridge, reconstruction of the Fair Oak, Thurston, and West Main Street interchange, and resurfacing of highways 47 and 169. There will be no formal presentation, but city, county, and state officials will be on hand to answer questions. An event for pet owners and their four-legged friends returns next weekend, and there's a few new things this year. The biggest change is that the Coon Rapids Love My Pet Fair is being combined with the annual Rabies Clinic, which is normally held in spring. Vaccinations and licenses are available for a fee. Also new this year, a sidewalk chalk art contest with prizes awarded in four age categories, including adults, and a bouncy house for kids. The event is Saturday, September 21st from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Riverview Park. Well-behaved pets on a leash are invited, rain or shine. That is going to bring us to the end of today's show. Thanks for watching. See you back here again next week.